Hey what's up guys this is Sandip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot MX Linux and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. First of all open your web browser and search for MX Linux. Click on the first link and then click on download. Now choose your desktop environment, I'm going to download XFCE and my system is x64 so I'm going to click on the first link. Now while it is downloading, open another tab and search for Rufus. We need Rufus to make bootable USB pen drive of MX Linux. Download the latest version of Rufus. Now after downloading, close your web browser. Now you need to have a pen drive of at least 8 GB and make sure to back up the pen drive data because it will be lost. Now make sure to insert your pen drive before opening Rufus. And after inserting your pen drive, open Rufus and select the ISO file which we just downloaded. Select partition scheme as GPT and click on start. This process is going to take some time so I'm just going to cut this part. So finally it is completed. Now close Rufus and close everything. Now right click on your start menu and open disk management. Select the disk with largest volume and right click on it and select shrink volume. Now allocate the size of at least 30 GB for MX Linux and then click on shrink. Now close disk management and restart your PC. Now while your computer is showing your motherboard logo or brand logo, press F2 key to enter BIOS menu and go to security tab and make sure that the secure boot is disabled. After disabling secure boot, press F10 to save your settings. Now while your computer is starting up, press F10 key or escape key to enter boot menu and select USB option from that menu and it will boot into MX Linux installation. Click on install MX Linux and it will open up installer. If you are using different keyboard layout, click on change keyboard layout, otherwise click on next. Make sure customize disk layout option is selected and click on next. Now before doing anything here, press this 
small gparted icon right here and it will open gparted disk editor select the unallocated free space which we just created from windows and right click on it and select new leave everything as it is and click on add now click on this green tick button at the top and it will create a ext4 partition Now close gparted and wait for the installer to detect the newly created ext4 partition. Once the new partition shows up, use the ext4 partition as root which is forward slash and it should automatically detect the ESP partition. Just leave everything as it is and select next. Here also you need to leave everything as it is because it has automatically detected our ESP partition and now click on next. Here you can also change your domain name and computer name if you want. Now configure your time zone and locale. Create a username and a password for your MX Linux. Now this installation process will take some time so I'm just going to cut this part too. Now click on finish and it will automatically reboot your PC and when the computer is starting it will now present us with a dual boot menu to choose between operating system. Choose the first option to boot into MX Linux and choose the first option to boot into Windows. For now I'm going to boot into MX Linux. Now as you can see we have successfully booted into MX Linux. Now let us try to boot into Windows to check if it is working. Choose Windows Boot Manager to boot into Windows.
now as you can see we are able to boot into windows as well so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you